Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. We have a full and overflowing weekend with Brother Avanzini at Casa Ganon and Managers Executives Fellowship this morning at East Campus, and then preaching at 7.30, 10, and 12.30 in the main services tomorrow, and Cindy Cruz tonight and tomorrow night, and the second day of the annual Youth Harvest Conference. It's going to be a great day. We'll look forward to seeing you in the services, but right now, Let's go back to the book of 1 John. There's a little study I'd like to ask that you do, and it's called We Know. Just we know, those two words. I want to ask that you go through the entire book of 1 John and circle every time it says, we know. This is a book of confidence. This is a book where super spirituality dies because it brings the super spirituality and all of the ethereal feelings of Christianity and brings it down to the reality of let me tell you what we know and let me tell you how we know it. Now, it's a great study. Please let me encourage you just, just to begin to go through. I just went through again a little while ago and circled them in this Bible. Absolutely fascinating study. Let me show you just one of them in our, from our text today. Verse 18, well let's start, yeah, verse 18. Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. This then is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence when our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Each one of us at some point or another in our life, our heart condemns us. We, we feel bad about something. We feel bad about a way we're living and it has nothing to do with God. God is greater than your heart. He said, let me tell you how to set your heart at rest in his presence. He said, this is one of the we knows. You don't love with word and you don't love with tongue. You love with actions and truth. Now, that's the same kind of a truth about faith. You say you have faith, I'll show you my faith by what I do, by what I accomplished. You say you walk in love, I'll show you my love by my actions and my truth. Christianity today has become so ethereal and so feeling driven and you know we want to talk about oh do we love each other and you know love is expressed by kisses and hugs and handshakes and sweet words but he said don't love with words and tongue. Love should be something that is seen. Love should be shown in actions. Now come over a little bit farther to chapter 4. I know it's in our devotions from tomorrow. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Verse 8, whoever does not love God does not know God, because God is love. And this is how God showed his love among us. He didn't say, I love you, and write it in the sky. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sin sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us, so we ought to love one another. Now, th th this is God showing love by actions, by, by doing something that brings benefit to others. We live in a Christian world that always wants to talk about walking in love, and do you have right feelings toward each other, and you know, are you saying the nice love, love words? And God looks at us and says, all right, stop super spirituality. Let's get down to the reality of this. When your heart condemns you, this is how you know that you're all right. Are you demonstrating love by your actions?